This is the Mudra Link. The Mudra Link lets you control devices using hand gestures. These sensors over here that you can also see over here are called surface nerve conducting sensors. These sensors are able to pick up on your neural activity. So whenever you move your hand, your brain sends a signal down your nervous system. And these sensors are actually able to pick up on that. Now see what my neural signals running through my arm look like. I see I've got a neural signal here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start to wave my fingers. And wow, OK, it is actually changing as I move my hand. So very cool there. I want you to actually move your index finger up and down and watch what happens at the screen. There is a specific pattern. Move your index finger yourself. So you Interesting. Only, OK. Yeah, it only picks up on your intent. Another cool thing it can do is detect finger pressure. OK. So uh, try to apply pressure between your fingers. Oh, yeah, OK. So unlike other gesture control methods, we are able to detect how much pressure it is that you're applying between your fingers. Other gesture control methods, they know whether you are pressing your fingers or not. We can actually tell how much pressure it is that you're applying between your fingers. That's what I was doing right now. I was trying to see if I could get it to hover, and there we go. You can actually learn to control it better with time. We can turn your hand into a, into a mouse. Rather than moving uh, your hand that way in big motions uh, from the shoulder, we wanted to enable uh, users to be able to control devices in a subtle way. So, which means that the movement goes that way, up and down, left and right. The access point is the elbow. You can choose to pair it as a mouse, as a keyboard, or as a D-pad. Okay. So, once you pair it as a keyboard, you can even map different gestures for different keys or different key combos. Technically, you can have one mudra link here, another here. One would be a mouse, and the left one would be a keyboard. We're really curious to see what the first user, users are actually going to use it for and with. We're actually going to go alongside our users and develop future features based on what on their requirements. So, so uh, the Mudra band for Apple Watch, our previous product, is actually already out on the market for the last year plus. So you can actually already get your hand on an EMG device, the only okay. one available at the market today. Okay. Since I haven't tried their uh, device, I cannot really tell, but I do know that ours does detect EMG. Specifically, we have called our sensors SNCs, surface nerve conductance sensors, because they pick up on the action potential differentiation signals. I'm wearing the TCL Rainio X3 Pro AR glasses. So we create a new way of how to interact with the glasses itself. So here you see I'm using my hand gestures to controlling the glass. Okay. So I can scroll and open a menu. I can just go to a set setting simply with a tap. Okay. I can also go back just with a double tap. So with Mudra Band, you could use your hands free, no limitation, anywhere with very small gesture to operating the AR glasses. Currently, we are expecting maybe in lately of May. Later and of currently, May. we are still working the progress to define the final correct user experience for the AR glasses of T To ensure that we can continue to provide more great content like this in the future, if you liked what you saw here today, please consider subscribing to this channel and becoming a member at UploadVR.com to support our team. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.